Hi there, I'm Mike Creevy for Homeschool Connections, and with me today is Homeschool Connections instructor, Mr. Kevin Kiernan. Kevin, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I get to talk to Homeschool Connections instructors, which is a, a wonderful thing to be able to do. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I just wanted to ask you just to share maybe a little bit about your background, a little bit of, of uh, your story as much as you can here in our short time. <laughs> what, brought, what brought you to Homeschool Connections? <laughs> it's a very long story, but uh, right. basically, uh, my wife was working with Homeschool Connections as a monitor and uh, administrator, and she said we could use some more monitors uh, for classrooms, and so I uh, got employed to, to do that. There's a lot of potential experience that you draw on for right. any potential Homeschool Connections classes, so I'm just curious, right. what uh, so what kind of courses do you teach here? Uh, with I just teach uh, health and physical fitness, mm -hmm. and then I monitor for a bunch of classes. Sure. So, and, and how do you, so which age ranges here are you looking at primarily for, for your courses? Um, middle school, late middle school, high school. Okay. Let's say high schoolers. Sure. Uh, the last class was like 99% girls and there's one guy in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, usually 50, 50, but, uh, okay. for whatever reason that worked out that way. So well, we then, do, uh, Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. We do a lot of, uh, body weight resistance. So you don't need okay. to the way of barbells or dumbbells. And so, yeah, because I'm curious about how that would work in that setting. So what's, if you could walk us through a, I don't know if there's, you know, a typical class, but, you know, uh, how's, how's that setup kind of go there? What, what kinds of things can, can um, students expect, basically, for, for how you do I things? I follow my, my normal physical fitness I do for myself, which is okay. uh, legs uh, Monday, do chest Tuesday arms Wednesday and back legs on Thursday and then I do chest on Friday and arms on Saturday again sure so like that. Um, for the chest we'll do push-ups and uh, for back we'll do, we'll do we'll do like chest we'll do the opposite side of your body so we'll do mm -hmm. the chest back same day so Superman for the back and then push-ups for the uh, for your chest sure. um, and we'll do it uh, for the duration of a song like a three minute song okay we'll do for three minutes straight uh so you get to that burn you push through the burn you keep going <laughs> <laughs> definitely i mean the workouts are pretty intense yeah um and then uh for legs we'll do sally up usually I okay. heard sally up. it's like yeah. a big thing in the military song you know, basically you're up and down up and down for about three minutes and yeah. i'll do squats lunges for that um, and then for the arms, we'll do the diamond press for the tricep. Mm -hmm. and we'll do, um, you can do a leg curl with a towel if you don't have any dumbbells or barbells mm -hmm. or weights or resistance bands. Um, so. Well, it's funny because I'm, I'm feeling, you're making me feel guilty here a little bit because I, I haven't, I haven't done anything like that consistently <laughs> since the right. army days. But now I'm wondering, right. like, maybe, maybe we can make some sort of special rule for me to be able to, or a, a, a right. loophole yeah. for me to be able to take your, your, your class here. So. Right. And, and <laughs> so. the thing is, you know, exercising isn't just good for your body. It's good for your brain. Yeah. Um, for kids, if you work out before a test, you actually do better on the test because it pumps more brain, blood through your brain and oxygen sure. through your brain and activates more neutrons, uh, gets sure. you going. It's actually, you, can, yeah. you perform better after exercise. And if you like, they look into a lot of these uh, bodybuilders, you'll find out that a lot of them are engineers and scientists. They're oh, wow. Smart. You think they're just you know, dumb meatheads. <laughs> Some of those stereotypes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're actually very, very intelligent. Wow. Yeah, well, and it's 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 interesting to me because that's that seems like just more... Uh, evidence, if you will, of, of our body soul composite, right. right? The way that God God made us. We're not right. just one or the other, you know? Right. It's it all works together. Right. You yeah. got to work out. You know, you got to exercise, move your body. Yeah. Um, St. John Bosco said, Health is a gift from God. Don't neglect it. What? Take your health very seriously. Uh, so now, see, now I'm kind of glad there's not a picture of him or I have all these saint pictures around here looking at me. He's not one of them. Just like, hey. No, but saint I'll, get, Francis, I'll get one of them. St. Francis of Sales said to, to walk slowly would be the, uh, uh, the sin of sloth. Oh, walk. my gosh. Yes. Well, hey, I do have a picture of him and I do tend to walk <laughs> fast. So maybe maybe that's him that's with me the whole time. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, in, in his case, he didn't have a car or a plane or a boat or anything like that. True. So yeah, he was traveling by walking, so to get from place to place, he could not walk slowly. He had to walk that's right. Uh, but, well, I mean, well, if, I, do oh, it slowly, 
are you being selfish? You know, are you, are you doing it because mm. you want to take care of yourself type deal? You know, right. or are you hurrying to get somewhere to help other people? You know? You're right. You know, that's, there's, there's duty perhaps, you know, right, right, embedded right within that. Right. <laughs> wow. Yep. Well, Kevin, thank you so much. I know we only have a couple minutes here to, to highlight, you know, your, your courses here, but um, you know, for anyone who wants to learn more parents and students who want to uh, get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? Is there or anything you'd recommend? Uh, just through uh, homeschool connection. That's the best. Yep, through, through, the, through the instructor, pa instructor page there. Right. Yep. Okay, yes. great. Yep. And uh, well, and, and like I said at the outset, there's a lot of other interesting stuff on there too in your background that we'll just, I'll, I'll leave it spoiler free for them to check out for themselves. <laughs> so, well, Kevin Kiernan, thank you so much for coming on today and sharing about your Homeschool Connections courses with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.